Hey everyone, it's bad to see you from Montview Nature Farm. And while I was walking here in the felt, I came across this very special plant here that is quite common here in the Karoo at this time of the year, in August after the rains. And I want to tell you a little bit about this. Let's quickly have a look. So when you look carefully at this plant, you might try and take a guess at the name of this. In Afrikaans, it's called the Kapok Bos, which means snow bush in English. And that is due to these little seeds that looks like snow. It's also called the wild rosemary bush. And the reason for that is the leaves smell like rosemary. Wild rosemary. Now what's interesting about this plant is that it has so many uses. People have been eating these leaves for centuries and people still use it in their food because it has the smell of rosemary you can use it in soups and stews and poikis it goes very well with lamb and what's interesting is that this wild rosemary bush is one of the reasons why Karoo lamb has a distinct flavor so people always say that there's no better lamb then Karoo lamb, it's because it's got a distinct bossy flavor. And part of that bossy flavor is from the ro wild rosemary. So imagine when you see a sheep just eating herbs like rosemary the whole day. You can imagine how tasty the meat is. Not only is it used as a food and as a flavoring, but it also has a lot of other uses as well. People use these fluffy cotton pieces to fill pillow casings, to make pillows from, used as bedding. You can still see some birds that pluck these off and make their own little nests from this. And in the same way, people used to do the same from the rural areas, making their own pillows from it. Now if you look carefully at these little pieces of snow you can see it's got a little hook little pointy part and that is when the summertime comes the wind will blow this away it's seeds that's there so it will disperse and the birds will also carry it from place to place and where it lands that little hook will grab the ground and will embed it there and then another new little snow bush will grow from there so not only do people eat the leaves and have uses for the cotton-like seeds, but it's also got a lot of interesting medicinal properties. So people use these leaves for centuries as a diuretic, also for things like um, stomach ailments, coughs, colds, and they even gave it to babies Who's, who's suffering from colic. So the colic babies, they also use it. So the biggest use of these leaves is basically just to use to work for stomach ailments. If you're not feeling uh, very lacquer, then you can just um, eat a little bit of these leaves or you can, you can drink an infusion of it and you will feel a lot better. It's also um, told to be used for other things like um, you can uh, make a, a foot soak from it if you've got swollen legs because the biggest way that it works, it improves your blood flow. That's one of the reasons why it works for headaches and for coughs and things like that as well. So how do you use it? Well, except if you, if you have it fresh like I do now, you can, you can just um, try and eat these little leaves just a little bit. You can chew it, you can keep it in your mouth and um, you will start feeling the benefits. It works especially well when after you've eaten or before you've eaten, you don't, you, your stomach is turning a little bit. 
then you just eat a few of these little leaves you will feel better other ways to do it is you can also um, brew your own tea from it add a little bit to boiling water let it stand people also use it uh, to make tinctures you can just add a bunch of these cut up little leaves to brandy give it a good shake leave it in the cupboard and just every now and again every week or so you just give it a good shake and it will last for months if not years that you can use for all stomach elements right so it's a, a very useful very interesting plant the animals love to eat it and if you're lucky enough to be in the clan karoo um, during the rainy season in the winter then chances are that you will see these snow bush everywhere you go and the next time when you see one hopefully you'll remember the, all the interesting things about it and what makes it such a special herbal bush that you can enjoy all right it's Bertus here from Montevideo Nature Farm I hope you really enjoyed this video please give us a like and subscribe and post all your questions in the comment box let me know if you've seen this bush before and if you knew some of these things maybe you can also teach me a few things that i didn't know about it